they have incredible dancer, an amazing choreographer, and very capable, kind, calm, and all around wonderful human being, my friend. Tyrell Washington. Yes. Hi, Tyrell. Welcome, hey. sir. Hey. What's going on? Hey. Glad well, to be here. I'm glad to see you because it's been like several days and I missed you terribly because <laughs> Travis, Tyrell and I have spent the past six weeks together yes. literally every day. That is awesome. Yeah, on America's Got Talent. That's All right. Stars. You would tell me that was fun and I saw some of your pictures from, yeah. from the set. It was fun because yeah. it was with this guy who makes everything easy and calm. And well, Tyrell's a, a legend. Friend. He's yeah. a legend in his own oh, right. And, oh, oh, you know, legend is we, a big word. Hey, big but word. hey, those people who have endured and who have made a compact, you know, a, a a impact mm -hmm. on the culture mm -hmm. they're okay. legendary so you are among those sir and well i and appreciate I that coming from both of you already know you know what i'm saying have seen your work with you know beyonce and you know just movies and tv and film and you know you pop up and i'm always happy to see you when you oh, do thank you yeah i appreciate that Mm -hmm. now tyrell ty i know we talked a little bit but tell everybody kind of how you got started in this business how I got started, man. Do you want the bad story or the good story? Or do you want a made up story? Hey. <laughs> a little mix. We don't have to share from the truth. Okay, because I was going to say, I don't know if you have enough time or enough wine. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> back in 2002 uh, was when I made my transition into Los Angeles, into the entertainment world. But before that, I was, I was a street kid. I was uh, dancing okay. in dance groups and going to showcases and we would compete. And my thing wasn't to be a dancer growing up. I was trying to be an architect. I wanted to go to okay. college and be an architect, you know, do a civil engineering and, and create buildings and everything. But, um, you know, the tables are turned and here I am. So when I was in high school, I had a group called Ground Zero. We would compete in a showcase called the Apollo Knights. And okay. I created that group because my mom wouldn't let me be a part of another person's group. Okay. Don't know why, but she was like, you're better than that. You could do something on your own. You should have your own thing. Hey. So I was like, All right. Shout out so, mom. <laughs> shout out to moms. So from there, I um, created a group and I didn't think we were going to win, but we kept winning after every showcase. And from there, I was like telling myself, well, maybe this dance thing is something for me. I never knew anything about having a dance career. I thought I had to go to like Juilliard and, and train or, you know, uh, Alvin Ailey. But a lot yeah. of my friends had moved from Northern California into LA and they were telling me, you should come out here and dance. So I came out in 2001 to take a look and I saw like all these amazing people just grinding, dancing, acting, training, and mm -hmm. it inspired me to move. Now, along with my move, I had an incident with, uh, let's just say my baby mother at the time. Got it. <laughs> so, I had, I, I, yes, I had, a, I had a child in high school and I wanted a to make a change. Love relationship. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's the proper way to let me write that down. So, um, so I, I take credit for that. That's Billy really Williams, another YouTuber we love. Hey, Mr. Williams. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, when I moved to LA in 2002 of February, my goal was to give my daughter um, a better lifestyle than I had at the Northern mm -hmm. California. And dancing was something that was, you know, right on the other side. And I just combined it, my fatherhood and my dance ability to progress in this career that I have. And here I am now dancing, Amen. choreographing, artistic directing, um, creative producing. I never knew that all these things would occur, but um, my start was because of my daughter and my transition to LA as a dancer. It was inspired by a lot of my friends that believed in me. That's yep. amazing. I can see why people believe in you, though, Tyrell, uh -huh. because yeah. you're just that kind of person that's so grounded and so capable. Like when I'm around you, I don't get nervous that you're, you know, like you just know what you're doing. You're just calm. You just make it happen. I just can't say enough how much I respect you as a person. And then that bleeds over into the work. You're here. Well, you know? Yeah. yeah. And to your point, you. I'm so happy you say that because that, that explains a lot about you. You know, mm -hmm. when yeah. I'm around you, there's always this kind of focus. That is yeah. very apparent for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Some of our peers, or especially peers because you're younger, 
you know, can mm-hmm. be off into silly stuff. But every time we were in the room together, it was another sort of layer of, you know, sort of priority for you. Mm-hmm. And that makes a lot of sense. That if you had a purpose, you know, yes. and, your, and your career was being driven by a purpose. That's You're awesome. Right. Tyra, yes. did we ever work together? Did you and me and Travis ever work together on anything? <laughs> I, I, I want to say we have. I just can't remember what it was. I mean, uh-huh. there was a time that we worked with each other, and then there's a time that you keep saying that I was at your house in the streets. I, know. Um, I, don't, I don't know what that is. <laughs> my house, okay. I, like he came to pick up something. Okay. Or I don't know what that was, but see, I, I thought see it might have been like TV Land Awards, or it might have been Dancing with the Stars, what about Michael Soul Tribute, Train? Soul Train. I don't know. It um, could have been any of those. Like I, I've been trying to put yeah. my finger on it. You know what I need yeah. to do. I need to pull up a resume and just go down. Yeah, I know, right? But that you say resume because it's like we haven't made a resume in years. <laughs> then we had no. to think about it. Okay, wait. Uh, right. and then, and also we, neither have I updated for, one. Yeah. yeah, and then preparing yeah. for this podcast, that's what got us to do it because we had to think of things to talk about. And we're like, what were we doing in 1999? Okay, and then we just sort of go forward. But yeah, yeah. the resume yeah. Helps. It does help keep everything in perspective. Because okay. I'm like, I forgot about that. Now, because I know you <laughs> want to know this. Tell us about Beyonce. Yes. And Destiny's yes. Child. You know. How did that all start? Because you've worked with them a lot, Tyler. Yeah. 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 So uh, how it happened was, I, I want to say it's 2003, 2004. So Beyonce had just did her solo album, right? Dangerously in Love. Dangerously in Love. And... I happened to get called for an audition and I was like, I've been going to a lot of these big calls. And Mm -hmm. so with my whole dance career, one of the biggest things that was a problem to me was not the competition, but just like how many people needed a job. And I was, I come from Northern Cali. I was on my hustle. So I didn't have to like, you know, I didn't have to like really starve for a dollar. So I was always grinding, but when I was in LA, it was hard. And then going into these auditions, it was even harder because everybody was just as hungry as you were. Yeah. So I was like reluctant to go to the audition, but I ended up showing up and Beyonce was there. Frank Gadsden was there. And I think Aisha Francis was there and they were running mm-hmm. the audition. Um, did the audition, didn't know if I did good or not. And Frank Gadsden said, if you work with me, raise your hand. So everybody raises their hand. He's like, step to the front. And then he kept pointing at me. He was like, you worked with me before. And I just paused because I was like, I don't know you. I've never seen you. I I don't know what you're talking about. But I stepped forward. Hey, if that was the opportunity to get the job, I guess I would. So I stepped forward. Uh And he was just saying that, like, you know, you guys, um, you worked with me before. And I can see that in this room, you're really showing your talent. He's like, you guys Mm -hmm. stay. From there booked the job and I got a chance to dance side by side with somebody in height is totally different, but it was me and fly mm-hmm. styles. <laughs> so I was just yeah. like, Oh, we're bookends. But that experience alone, I learned a lot through fly styles, you know, shout out to fly. Um, mm-hmm. And then the Beyonce experience tour was a eye opener of, first of all, not just dancing, but traveling. The yeah. experiencing mm-hmm. the experience on big stages the the power that an artist holds that can really move a crowd and how they perform um professionalism like me learning what it is to be on the road me learning what it is to train me learning what it is to dance beside other people that are great and like people telling each other step up um Mm -hmm. me learning to build a name for myself and brand myself then it transcended into destiny's child was coming out so i went on that tour worked with some other artists and other dancers and from there it just it kept growing so i did that for probably about six seven years wow Wow, that's a long time yes yeah so it was it was it was great i i learned a lot i grew a lot and at that time i also knew that i had to not in a bad way but i had to get away from the beyonce and destiny's child only because that's what i was known as you're a Beyonce mm. Destiny Child dancer. So nobody knew me as being somebody who can adapt to all these other styles. So right. I think in 2000, I want to say 2007, I started making a change. And then around 2011 is when I just said, you know what, let me dance with other artists, other projects, mm-hmm. yeah. commercials, other yeah. choreographers. So mm-hmm. my experience in there was great. That was my, uh, my training into the entertainment world as far as a dancer 
And um, I give a lot of credit to Frank Gadsden telling me to <laughs> step forward and saying that I worked with him, which I didn't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but he knew yeah. he, and it was probably political, and he was trying to help you out. And you know, we yeah. share history. Frank actually noticed me in Atlanta, you know, and oh, it's really? one of the reasons I wound up mm-hmm. in LA. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, nice. he noticed. I was dancing in a company in Atlanta. And so we came, uh, I moved out here at 19 and started working closely with him, Bell Smith Jr. And we were a, a trio until about 1995 or 96. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. He, he calls me his dance son. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, you're Good. Dance Good. <laughs> yeah. and I love that you said, oh, that's where you got your dance education. You're, mm-hmm. you know, because that's where you really do learn is on the job. Yeah. You yeah. know, you can yeah. learn how to plie and tendu and do a pirouette yeah. in class, but you learn how to handle yourself, you know, and how to use what you've yes. learned. Yeah. When, right. Going what, a, through. what a great job to have the crash course on. Yeah. You know, yeah. I know, you know, yeah, and let's not talk about that's six years worth of weekly salary. Yes. Oh, six years. Yes. yes. I, I miss it. I mean, and hard, but, you know, very to get Right. I mean, you one know. of the, the, the greatest things, too, though, was that um, out of the training that I got when I first moved to L.A., I was like training at uh, Debbie Reynolds when it was like yeah. everybody was training in like separate styles. Everybody didn't do the same styles. Like I took a ballet class. I took a tap class and I was uh, learning how to do um, jazz funk because, I, was, like I said, I was a hip hop kid. But a lot of these things I started adapting to really, really fast. But I never thought I would be able to put them to use. Once I got on the Beyonce mm-hmm. tour, it was such a, a cluster of different styles that it all had to be done in there. And it was one of those things that I started getting nervous about because sure. I was like, I don't think I trained long enough in this to present myself to be worthy on the stage, but it worked out and I'm here. Yeah. No, Dream, you just dreams yes come true. And go. Yeah, you dreams come yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah, and you be in the experience, and it's just it's just working for you. So don't question it. Don't block the blessing. Now yeah. I know yes. we have to kind of hurry because Tyrell is working on the voice right yes. now. Yes, but I oh. want I want to talk a little yeah. bit about the creative producing. You know, because yeah. that was new to that was me taking a leap for America's Got Talent. I had mm-hmm. never done that before, and I really loved it. Mm-hmm. But Tyrell's been doing it for quite some time on mm-hmm. many different mm-hmm. shows, like American Idol, The Voice, you know, AGT, all that. Wonderful. So, how are you liking that? And are you do you aspire to do anything after that? Is this moving yeah. in a direction of cre- you know, creative right. direction? No, absolutely. I, I, I love it. Um, I, I never knew what it was until um, Hi-Hat actually gave us a, an opportunity, me and my wife, Latrina. Oh, yeah. Hi-Hat. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes. yes. She gave us an opportunity. And you do Hi-Hat and Missy then. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, All that too. See, so, yeah, mm-hmm. you've worked with everybody. Yeah. But so back to what you were saying. So Hi Hat gave uh, me and Latrina an opportunity to do the voice for season eleven, and um, you know one of the questions was, "Do you want to do anything other than dance? Where do you want to go after being a choreographer? And what else do you know? Because a lot of people don't ask you that. They don't ask you what do you know mm-hmm. outside of just dance. And mm-hmm. there's a particular set of skills that we all possess, but we don't really share it because we think it's all about steps. So when I mentioned about architecture and being in television. Uh, I used to help direct a television show in Northern California with um, uh, Jason Johnson that does um, Hollywood Unlocked. So okay. those set of skills were an opportunity to work with Hi-Hat because she was like, I don't know who's ready for this type of you know craft, this world, because it's, it's fast. So once I got into it, it it became something that I loved very, very much because it's always new. You're mm-hmm. always creating. You still contribute with choreography. You still contribute with um, ideas and screens, uh, lighting design, artistic. How to uh, shoot it. Yeah, how to shoot it. And I've been doing it for probably, I want to say, seven years. It's about seven years. I love it. Mm-hmm. Um, I got a chance to work with a lot of amazing people. Brian Burke, Sagi, Stacy. Um, I got a chance. To, yeah, <laughs> I got a chance mm-hmm. to work with you know. Uh, I had um, there's there's many other people, but uh, creating has been 
the most amazing part because the creation never stops. There's n- there's right. nothing that's like you never reach a limit. You just keep mm-hmm. going. There's always something yep. new. And I love being in that world, but I also love giving the opportunity for people that want to move up to that world. So while they're dancing and whatnot, I tell them, make sure you're pay att- paying attention to the lighting design. Make, make sure you're paying, paying attention to the production, who's working on the job. Make sure you're paying attention to just even people's workflow, because these are things and other avenues that you don't really get taught by everybody, but it's free. Yeah, mm-hmm. It's free. It's right in front of you. Usually people go to school for this, but you have an easy doorway into this. And yeah. I love it. Uh, one of my main goals is to be a director. I would love to do feature films. I would love to direct a TV show because when I'm in rehearsals, I do a lot of uh, camera work. And as a dancer, we all see things a little bit different than the normal eye. Yeah. Right. We're yeah. very visual. Yeah. 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 And you know how you're like, it needs to be shot this way to get that the right picture, the right emotion, the right crisp, like, you know, the right, the look and the movement of it. So, and that's choreography yeah. still. So yeah. it's, it's, it's a wonderful job. I mean, I've been doing it for a while and I don't think I'll ever um, get bored of it. No, it's just cool because we like to talk to different people about what they're doing now and where dance has brought them, you know, whether it is mm-hmm. choreography or directing or decorating or, or acting or producing, yes. yep. producing there's so many different um ways pe- or hosting you know yeah. talk to carrie yeah. ann and yeah so right. it's it's just cool to show all these different options and mm-hmm. it, it is a really really fun thing we should you should talk to courtney miller yeah do you know courtney yeah. miller he i've, I've he, met him a couple of times and i know yeah, he's with, uh, yeah, yeah, a lot. And now, yeah and now yes. he directs so yes. I feel you guys could, be able to have a good conversation and you could probably learn a lot from Courtney and well. each other. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I think that's great. That's I wonderful. That. So tell, tell the people where they can find you on social media. Cause I know all of our listeners and viewers would love to keep up with what you're doing. Okay. So, Hey, so uh, as right. far as Instagram, Instagram handle is Mr. Tyrell Washington. If you don't know how to spell Tyrell, it's T Y R E L L. And uh, if you want to, uh, follow me on my joint website with me and my wife because we both do everything together, whether it's dancing, choreographing, um, or raising three kids. While well, raising three kids, creative producing, you can follow us at Tyrell Latrina. That's T Y R E L L, another L A T R I N A. Um, we have another um, handle that's um, if you just want to see how crazy me and my family are, right. it's called Meet the Washingtons. So if you okay, I got hey, I like that. And, and you have a you have a birthday today, your son. Yes, I'm celebrating my son's birthday. He just turned 15. He thinks hey. he's grown. He has a little peach fuzz on his lips. So uh, hey. I lined him up today, gave him a haircut. But yeah, we're gonna celebrate That's today. Awesome. Well, congratulations to you, Latrine. Y'all got a car this year. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Please, somebody keep watch these kids. Mm-hmm. Well, Tyrell, get back to the voice. Thanks for taking time out to talk to us. Yes. I love and miss you so much. Yes, oh, you guys. Gosh. This has been the legend, Tyrell Washington. Thank you, Tyrell. Bye, brother. Thank you. Take care. Bye. You too.